Well, good morning again. Welcome back to the Daily Bible Chapter. Today is March the 7th of 2022, and today we are in Deuteronomy 5. And uh, Deuteronomy 5 is, among other things, going to give us a review of the Ten Commandments. So if you remember, I think they were back in Exodus, I want to say chapter 20. I could be a little off on that, but um, today we're going to review the Ten Commandments. So let's get into it. And Moses called all Israel and said to them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your hearing today, that you may learn them and be careful to observe them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us in Oreb. The Lord did not make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, those who are here today, all of us who are alive. The Lord talked with you face to face on the mountain from the midst of the fire. I stood between the Lord and you at the time to declare to you the word of the Lord, for you were afraid because of the fire, and you did not go up the mountain. He said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Observe the Sabbath day, to keep it holy, as the Lord your God commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor any of your cattle, nor your stranger who was within your gates, that your male servant and your female servant may rest as well as you. And remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, and the Lord your God brought you out from there by a mighty hand, by an outstretched arm. Therefore the Lord your God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother, as the Lord your God has commanded you, that your days may be long, and that it may be well with you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, and you shall not desire your neighbor's house, his field, his male servant, his female servant, his ox, his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. These words the Lord spoke to all your assembly in the mountain from the midst of the fire, the cloud and the thick darkness, with a loud voice, and he added no more, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone and gave them to me. So it was when you heard the voice from the midst of the darkness, while the mountain was burning with fire, that you came near to me, all the heads of your tribes and your elders, and you said, Surely the Lord our God has shown us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice from the midst of the fire. We have seen this day that God speaks with man, yet he still lives. Now therefore, why should we die? For his great fire will consume us. If we hear the voice of the Lord our God any more, then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh who has heard the voice of the living God speaking from the midst of the fire, as we have and lived? You go near and hear all that the Lord our God may say, and tell us all that the Lord our God says to you, and we will hear and do it. Then the Lord heard the voice of your words when you spoke to me, and the Lord said to me, I have heard the voice of the words of the people which they have spoken to you. They are right in all that they have spoken. Oh, that they had such a heart in them that they would fear me and always keep all my commandments, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Go and say to them, Return to your tents. 
But as for you, stand here by me, and I will speak to you all the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments, which you shall teach them, that they may observe them in the land which I am giving them to possess. Therefore you shall be careful to do as the Lord your God has commanded you. You shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. You shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may live and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. Deuteronomy chapter 5 um, I just, when I was reading through here, I had this thought as I was going through this uh, sort of review of the Ten Commandments, and uh, I don't know why this stands out to me, um, but I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like there's something we need to take away from this observance of the Sabbath day. Um, and I say that because when we're when we're going through the this review of the Ten Commandments, each commandment is given maybe just a short sentence, but this observe the Sabbath is given verse twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, and I mean it's a fairly large paragraph here, um, and it's you know I'm gonna read it again real quick. It says, "Observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy, as the Lord your as the Lord your God commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work, you, your son, your daughter, your male servant, your female servant, your ox, your donkey, your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates, that your male servant and your female servant may rest as well as you." And remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, and the Lord your God brought you out from there by a mighty hand and by an outstretched arm. Therefore the Lord your God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. And, you know, like, I don't know, it just really stood out to me that there was so much said about that Sabbath day. Um, I mean, some of them are fairly straightforward. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal. Like, excuse me, I got the hiccups. It doesn't take a lot, you know, to miss it. But, I don't know, I just felt like there was this sort of extra emphasis added towards this this Sabbath day, this one day every week that we should, um, you know, rest. And, and by resting, we're honoring God. Um, you know, we're working six days a week, and then we're supposed to rest. And everyone was supposed to rest, and all of our animals and everything. Um, I don't know, that's just, it stood out to me, um, as usual, that's not a fully fleshed out thought per se, but, you know, I, I just wonder if there was, you know, with that much being said about it, was there some, some emphasis God was putting on that to say, you know, this rest is important, and, I mean, to me, rest is important, you know, like I, if we, if we don't stop and take a break, you know, we, we run out of energy a lot faster and we we can't do as much and we you know we we wear out faster etc um you know and, and so i think in a lot of ways you know maybe god's telling us you know like i need you to to slow down take a break focus on me for a day you know rebuild yourself you know let me heal your body for a day etc um you know, and I mean, like he spent a lot of time here telling us about it. So, uh, just something to think about. Um, you know, I don't know that we, as a people group, do a great job of honoring the Sabbath day and keeping it holy. Um, at least not here in America. Um, but anyway, I mean, I think in many ways we rest. But you know, I think I know several years back many years ago at this point somebody was talking to me about the sabbath and whether the sabbath was on saturday or sunday and you know i think the argument was that he was should it be saturday but we go to church on sunday and you know i mean i think it's interesting that our society we generally consider the work week monday through friday and then we have this weekend which is you know it would be sufficient time for us to go to church and a day of rest um, but that's just not how we use it. Um, so anyway, I mean, I could be making, 
more out of something that's not there, but it stood out to me as I was reading through there that there was that much time spent on observe, you know, observing the Sabbath day. So anyway, that's uh, Deuteronomy chapter 5, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow for Deuteronomy chapter 6. Have a great day.